In this video, I wanna be explaining how to add, edit, and remove sales stages in opportunities inside of Salesforce CRM. Now, I know that's a bit of a mouthful, but essentially, I'm gonna be explaining how you can customize the sales pipeline inside of opportunities to your business and how your business likes to sell. Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully, it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you do need any further assistance with Salesforce, please check out my website below. We'd be more than happy to assist. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into Salesforce, of course, you will come to the home screen. Now, like I said in this video, I will show you how to change the sales stages for opportunities. But firstly, let's just head over to the opportunities area. And as you can see, I've got a few example pieces of data or example sales. If we just select on one of these, you will be able to see all of the different stages that our opportunities currently has. Now, as I am sure you know, every business has a very unique sales process and Salesforce has done a good job of kind of making a, a, an estimate or guesstimate of, of what your sales process might look like. But the, the reality is each stage is going to be very different for every business. We may need to add additional stages, remove existing ones. We can rename them as well or just change them out with something else. So like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. It is very simple. It may appear slightly more complex just as a warning, but genuinely it is a really simple process to do. So what we need to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner here and it's called setup and then we need to go to setup. So just press the setup button and this will take us into the back end of the Salesforce system. Now on the left hand side, we have got a long list of different things. Please try not to feel overwhelmed by this. Just go to objects and fields and then use the drop down menu and then go to object manager. This will then load up every single object or essentially entity or module whatever you want to call it inside of salesforce so that's your contacts accounts your cases your um, leads absolutely everything so it's in alphabetical order please just scroll down to o which is obviously opportunities and just go to opportunity here it's just called opportunity this is the one that this is the one that we want this is the entity the module we want okay so just select that and then on the left hand side we're going to have another host of options again please don't feel overwhelmed we just want to go to fields and relationships and then all the way down the bottom we want to go to stage and a stage is as i said it is the stages of the sales process so that's what it's called inside of salesforce it's just known as stage it's really really easy so go ahead and select stage now this page you may not come across if you are not in salesforce lightning it's not a problem if you are i'm in salesforce lightning as you can see here all we need to do is just press the click here to open this page in salesforce classic now the reason it does this is because the development side of things is more is obviously um, a lot slower to change than the the front end of the system so the new refurbishment which is salesforce lightning has been completed for the front end but some things in the back end of the system have not been updated now we are on the um, opportunity field stage salesforce so you do not need to do anything else from here but you can see here these are the different stages of our opportunities pipeline and um, you do not need to worry i know again this looks even more overwhelming but this is really really simple we're at the place that we need to be now you can clearly see the probability, the type, whether it's open or closed one or closed lost. You can see the edit, delete and deactivate buttons on the left hand side here. And we've got new reorder, replace. We've got principal view, it's not really applicable. And we've got chart colors as well. If you So this kind of gives you the option to assign specific colors to a value or assign color to, colors to values dynamically. I'm getting bogged down. What? Let's focus on the purpose of this video here. As you can see, we've got the different stages. Now, let's firstly go through how to add a new stage to your opportunities. So if you go ahead and press the new button, this is where you firstly need to give your stage a name. So whichever part of the sales process this is for you. So obviously, I'm just going to call this example stage just for the purpose of this video. 
Now we need to select the type. So is it open, is it closed one or closed lost? So whenever they enter this stage, is it essentially one lost or is it open? So obviously going, still going through the sales process. So you can obviously add that. At the moment, if we go back to our opportunities area, you can see here we've got closed lost. Now there are some instances um, and I've seen businesses do this where they have closed lost and they have closed lost to competition. So they like to break it down between the two. It's up to you if you would like to do so. That might be a good example for when you have two closed lost stages. But let's leave that as it is. It's an open stage called example stage. We need to assign a probability. So shall we say that this is a 70% a chance of going through this uh, or completing the sale? There's obviously that is going to be uh, relevant to your sales process, of course. And then you can assign a chart color if you'd like to. Now, once you're happy, just go ahead and press the save button. This will now add your new sales stage. As you can see here, it has now been added. It's sat at the very bottom. It's got a 70% probability. The sales stage or the type is open um, and the colors are assigned dynamically. So now the sales stage has been added. Let's go back to our, um, our opportunities area and just press the refresh button. As you can see here, our example stage has now been added to our pipeline. But you may be thinking, well, this isn't actually the part of the pipeline that this particular stage sits. That's not a problem. What we now need to do is go back to the Salesforce Classics page and press the reorder button. So it sits very nicely next to real, uh, next to new. Just press reorder and this is really, really easy. You can just move it to the relevant stage. So if it's gonna sit right at the start, if it's gonna sit in the middle, if it's gonna sit at the end, all you need to do is assign accordingly. So let's say it's gonna be just after qualification. I know the probability doesn't indicate that, but let's just use this as an example anyway. You'll be able to see that that's now been updated. If we head over to our opportunities area, you can now see that the example stage is the second stage of our sales pipeline. So it's very, very easy to update. Now you may be thinking, okay, well, there's actually a stage that we do not want. We do not want the meeting scheduled stage for our opportunities. And that's not a problem at all. Again, let's head back to the Salesforce essentials area. Um, and then what we want to do is find the stage that we do not want anymore. We've got two options. We can deactivate it and we can delete it. Now there are use cases for both. Let me walk you through delete first. If you delete it, that's completely removing it from the system. No one else uh, essentially will remove any data relating to that particular stage as well. And that is a consideration that you need to factor in. It will remove all data associated with that stage. So any opportunities record that is currently in the meeting scheduled stage will then lose that particular stage. It will confuse the record. It will get a little bit confusing. So then that might be an argument to just deactivate the stage. You can just press the deactivate button. Again, you might use this if you want to reintroduce this particular stage at a later date, and maybe you're testing or refining your sales process. So a couple of different options there. They kind of do the same thing, but deleting is permanent, deactivating, we can always reactivate. Just bear that in mind. So all you need to do is just press the deactivate button, press OK. It will take a second to load because it is obviously going to have to update a few records. So now you can see that that particular sales stage has been deactivated. We can go ahead and activate it if we'd like to. We can view it and we can permanently delete it as well if we would like to. If we head over to our opportunities area, just press the refresh button. You will see now that the meeting scheduled stage has now been removed. That would obviously look the same if we deleted it, but if we reactivated it, the data would be reintroduced to the system um, and we wouldn't lose any information. So let's head over to our opportunities area for the final time and let's walk through the different stages. Obviously we've got qualification, example stage, proposal slash price quote, negotiation and review, and then closed lost. And then we can obviously make further changes as we go through. So hopefully this video has been of value to you. You can now go ahead and alter the sales stages of your Salesforce system to meet your business requirements or your sales process. Hopefully you've now set up your sales pipeline in opportunities to meet your sales process and you can go ahead and start selling exactly how your business should be. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it has been of value to you. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. 
If you have any further questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.